In this dying world, nothing is more precious than time. Why do you waste it on me? Does my victory still sting? Do you seek vindication? I'm not here to fight you. That won't wipe out the past. So you're here as the savior, to offer me salvation. It's for Yule's sake. She asked me. I refuse. I'm not asking for permission. The chaos here needs to be brought under control. I'm gonna do what Yule asks. You think you know what she wants. Even if one you will praise for my salvation, another demands the opposite. Very well. Do your best, Hunter of Souls. Cleave the evil from me and save me, if you can. If you wish to have my soul. Take it by force. No more destiny, no more fate. Let's end this once and for all. You might like this.
Join the goddess in death! Hunter of souls, but you cannot claim mine. Behold. Even if one Yule desires my salvation, another demands my rebirth. With each death and life, Yule's soul was splintered anew, the divided fragments melting into the ocean of chaos. She is one and many, a contradiction. When Yule pleads for my salvation, she speaks the truth. But at the same time, Yule cannot let me go. She must keep me here. So Yule is never gonna let you go? She is but a child. And a child needs to be looked after, especially when she is doomed to stay alone in the chaos. Yule is the unseen chaos, and the chaos will consume any world that it touches. She was always cursed, from the very beginning. Her power is too great, even if she wishes no harm. The very existence of the Chaos must distort and warp reality. So tell me, Savior, in the world that God is building, can you welcome her with open arms? No, you cannot. It is a new future. And there is no place for her in it. We must stay here. The chaos is where we belong. That's your plan? You'll stay here with Yule and be destroyed along with the world. I am an empty shell. My soul is rotted away. I shall cast this body into the chaos. I shall be the shepherd of all the souls. Destined to wander the darkness, never to be reborn in the new world. Is this how you hope to atone for what you did? Do you think you can wash away the sin of destroying a world? <laughs> Yule. You want to be with Caius. Confuse you all any longer. Huh? 
Why the world fell apart? Why you got dragged into Valhalla? It was all because of the power of the unseen chaos. And the chaos came from that girl, reborn and splintered, generation after generation. From you. It's under control for now, but the chaos could burst out again any time. So you won't save everyone after all. Do you think you can live with that? I can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. Savior, can you hear my voice? <gasps> Yule, it was you I heard. You spoke to me when I arrived in the Wildlands. I could see everything. I could see what you had to do here. So I called out from within the chaos to all the people, past and future. I spoke to every person who would listen to me. Right. The doctor and everyone else here. Bit by bit, you managed to tell the story. And that story turned into a legend about the Angel of Valhalla, shared by everyone here. Then I owe you my thanks. I don't think we'd have found each other if it wasn't for you, telling that story. I only pointed the way to your destiny. You and he have always been bound by the strands of fate since long before you came to the Wildlands. See, he was always yours. Your steed, your knight, your champion. You. It was you all along. A hell of a disguise. You had me fooled. Odin. My faithful friend, it's good to see you again. <laughs> 